What is the ultimate survivalist? I've been thinking about that and uh, wrote a few notes down. I'm going to do a real quick video on that. Um, the ultimate survivalist has seven features to him or her. Uh, the first one would be spiritual. If you want to survive, you have to have a belief in something bigger than yourself. A spiritual belief of some kind. And of course, the uh, ultimate spiritual belief is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I didn't say go to church or, you know, wear your Sunday best or whatever, but I said to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one and only true God. Um, but anybody that's out in a natural setting like this, in a wilderness type of setting, um, you can't look at this and say it all happened by random chance. Uh, there's creation here. There's design, intelligent design. Um, if you want to survive anything, you have to not believe in random accidents, uh, chaotic accidents creating life or wealth or whatever else. You have to believe in creation. And um, you get into a very serious situation, you will believe in God. Uh, the old saying goes, there are no atheists in foxholes. In war, in other words, when bullets are zipping by your head, you start to think about eternity. And that's a good thing to think about. Um, so that's point number one. Point number two, if you want to be the ultimate survivalist, is you need to be logical. Again, you need to think about things. You can't just go and uh, believe whatever you're told in the news media or whatever. The news media controls through fear, primarily. They play on the emotions of people. Um, they don't want you to be logical. They want you to be emotional. Uh, that's why the car commercial puts the pretty girl on or they play the rock music or whatever else, it's to break down your logical mind and say, do I really need to spend $75,000 for that new truck? Or rather get into debt to pay that kind of money? Um, that's not very logical. So uh, point number two to be the ultimate survivalist is you have to be logical. Uh, point number three, if you want to survive things, you have to be off grid. This property that I'm on right now is my land. And uh, it's an off-grid property. We have no electricity from the grid coming here. We have some solar, but uh, we are completely off-grid. We are energy independent. Okay, so uh, you say, why is that important? Well, obviously, um, when the grid goes down and you are connected to it and you are dependent upon it, uh, you're not really surviving anything. Um, you might survive by... Uh, you know, getting through a few days or whatever else, but um, you're going to have a rough time of it if you are dependent on the grid. Uh, now, does that mean you have to be, in order to be off grid, you must live in the middle of nowhere? No, it doesn't mean that at all. Um, if you have an on grid home, you should have some capability to survive if the power goes out. Do you have a way to heat your home without electricity? Do you have a way to cook your food, to go to the bathroom, whatever other necessities that you have, can you do it if the grid is down? You say, yes, we can. We actually have a good system like that. Good for you. Then you are uh, one step closer to becoming the ultimate survivalist. Number four, you have healthy. Um, if you have multiple uh, conditions, health conditions, um, that are not very good and that keep you dependent upon a healthcare system, well, then you're not going to be much of a survivalist. And that's no, no offense to anybody who's elderly that has uh, health issues. I realize we'll all get there eventually. Um, but you have to be in good health. And you cannot rely on a medical establishment that uh, has such things as iatrogenic disease, meaning you... Uh, are wrongly prescribed things, surgeries are given to you where the doctor messes up and and whatever else. Um, no, you actually have to take care of your own health. I have to think about uh, what can I find out here that can keep me in good shape. Um, don't see any trees right around me here. Most of these are spruce, but uh, there's balsam fir trees, some over that way, and they have sap in them, and the sap is very healing. It has healing properties to it, antiseptic type properties to it. There's so much in nature that you can use to heal yourself. 
So you have to understand that. You have to say, how can I be healthy? If I eat uh, wild edible fruits and if I eat wild game and whatever, is it going to make me in better health? And the answer is definitely yes. I've experienced that through most of my life. You have to be healthy to be the ultimate survivalist. You can't just um, expect to be in poor health and eating you know, candy bars while you're running through the woods or something. It doesn't work. Uh, number five, you need to be debt free. Um, the Bible says that the borrower is servant to the lender. And I don't care what you think about the Bible. Um, it's a true statement. It's a logical statement. If you are a borrower, then you are the servant of the lender. Here in America, people think that they're wealthy because they have more liabilities than others. Um, you know, I own a nice house and two cars and a boat and a UTV and I have this and I have that. Uh, do you own it uh, outright? Well, no, I'm making payments on it. Then those are liabilities. Those are not assets. People don't even understand the difference anymore. Um, liability is when you owe someone. It's something that you have to make payments on and it's not yours. Um, an asset is when you own it outright. So you say, well, um, I want to go and be the ultimate survivalist, so I need to buy an off-grid property, and I'm going to get a mortgage, death pledge in other words. That's what mortgage means. Look it up in the French. Uh, the root words that became mortgage, it means death pledge. Um, but I'm going to go out and I'm going to get a mortgage for half a million dollars so I can buy the ultimate off-grid property and live sustainably or something. Uh, no, you're missing the point. You don't want to be in debt if you want to be the ultimate survivalist. You need to be debt-free. Uh, number six, you need to be independent. Um, I am by myself out here right now. Nobody else is out here. Um, just myself and the birds and, and the Lord watching me. Uh, my wife and my son, they have no idea where I'm at. I'm just out taking a walk. And I do that quite frequently. Uh, we don't know, uh, we're just, a, we're, we don't know a whole lot of people in the area. We know them well enough to talk to them at the store and whatever, but we don't have a lot of close friends or whatever else. Uh, because a lot of people don't have our same mindset. And so we're independent. Um, I don't feel a need to ask the government permission for everything that I do out here. I didn't call up a local official and, and ask if I could go for a walk in the woods this morning or if, what I should wear or what other things like that. Uh, I don't care what people think. Um, I'm independent of those people. Um, I like to fellowship with other Christians but I don't feel some need to be at a church building every time the doors are open. There's no scripture for it. There's no scripture saying you must go to church. I did a sermon a number of years ago called, uh, For God's Sake, Don't Go to Church. And there's a lot of truth in that. You can watch that video. Um, it's a good sermon. It goes through a lot of scriptures. So you need to be independent. If you are afraid of isolation and... Uh, what would other people think if this and that? Uh, you're not going to do very well as a survivalist. Just as plain and simple as I can put it. And finally, number seven, the seventh thing that you need to be is you need to be low tech. Okay? Um, I'm not saying you have to shun technology. I'm just saying you need to be able to go back to a low tech type of uh, usage or whatever you want to, to say there. Um, can you cut a tree down with an ax? With a saw, if you had to. Um, in the back of my vehicle, I carry a uh, ax with me. I do not carry a chainsaw. If a tree comes down across the road, which happens frequently out here, um, I pull over and I stop and I get out and I cut it up enough with an ax to throw it off the road and I go on my way. I'm not going to carry around a chainsaw in the back of my vehicle and have the, the smell of gas in the back of my vehicle and bar oil leaking and things like that. Um, even if you get a new saw, they'll still smell a little bit like gas. And I'm just not going to drive around with something like that. I can go low tech. Uh, that doesn't mean I shun chainsaws or something like that. Um, I have chainsaws, a number of them, and I have axes. I know how to use both. Um, 
if you're driving around and you have a cell phone and you can't imagine life without it I understand that they have well that now that's a problem I understand that they have purposes and you can make excuses for cell phones but the vast majority of people don't need their cell phone people live just fine without them in the past and I get rather irritated when I'm walking through a store someplace and I hear somebody get on their phone and yeah I'm at the store yeah what are you doing yeah yeah okay well you know you want to get together later or whatever and, you know, it's some pointless conversation and I think and you see these people and they power goes out or something and they're just screaming and losing their mind because their phone's not charged and what can they do you know <laughs> it's insane um, if you're dependent on technology uh, for your very survival um, you're not a survivalist plain and simple so I'm weaving between the trees here so just a real quick video this is not a sermon like I would normally preach on my channel but I just want to put this out there make people think get you thinking that's the point of what I do I want people to start to think for themselves think independently so just to go over those again ultimate survivalist would be spiritual believe in somebody bigger than yourself someone more powerful more intelligent than you logical you need to be logical and by the way uh, I know the atheists would laugh they would say well belief in a supreme being is not logical oh actually yes it is unless you live in the city and you're surrounded by what man has made you come out here and you look at all of this and you think yeah right happening by chance I don't think so evolution has so many problems to it uh, but most atheists don't want to see it for the same reason a thief doesn't want to see a policeman um, but spiritual logical off-grid you cannot be dependent on technology right that's a very bad thing um, healthy get yourself in good health eat the right things say no to sugar say no to junk food you don't need it it just slows you down I mean think about the old saying you are what you eat do you really want to be a uh, bag of Twizzlers or a jelly donut or a chocolate candy bar I don't think so um, debt free you need to get out of debt well you, you know you have to spend money to make money that's one of the dumbest philosophies out there no you don't right you have to get away from that mindset I've seen people getting themselves into all kinds of debt so that they can you know make money and make it big and whatever else you know debt is wealth creation uh, well if you're a scammer yes it is but uh, he that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver the Bible says you know the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows a lot of these guys that create wealth through debt like Robert Kiyosaki uh, and men like him you look and and they've gone through divorces they have all kinds of problems and why well because they never have enough money they're always doing some kind of a scheming thing and you know, I'll sell this house and hey everything has a price tag if you know what I mean you know and their wife finally gets sick and tired of them and their covetous practices and she leaves I've seen that happen so many times I know men that have gone through it and now they live with their mountains of debt and they're making a lot of money to pay off the debt so that they can make more money to pay off more debt it's, it's insane it's a sick circle so you need to be spiritual logical off-grid healthy debt-free independent and low-tech if you want to be the ultimate survivalist that's the list um, so take it or leave it uh, leave me a comment if you can think of anything else let me know your thoughts on it uh, so that is going to be it and just wanted to make a video as I'm walking through the beautiful forest out here and we'll see everybody in the next video